Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a couple of days ago, somebody uh, asked me how they could create a trapezoid. And with these certain dimensions, I mean, this is what he wrote me. And there's probably a couple ways to do it, but probably the easiest way to these specification, because there is a trapezoid drawing underneath your polygon tool and your basic shapes. I always have mine set at heart for default. But there's a trapezoid drawing tool. That's what a trapezoid is. But we need these exact, and then that could work. I mean, you could draw that and then convert it to curves and change the lines. And But I think the easiest way to do it would be to start by taking your two-point line, holding down your control key so you get a perpendicular line, and let's make this first line 29.05 or 2.905. So now we've got our line. We're going to put that in the center of the page. Now we're going to make a duplicate of that. Control D. And we're going to make our second line 3.404. So now it's right on top. We're going to hit P on the keyboard. I don't know whether a trapezoid has to be equal, but mine is going to be. Then we're going to change our nudge factor to the height of the, from the top of the bottom line of the, so 2.740 is going to be our nudge factor. Just grab this line and move it down. Let's zoom in here. So now we've got our dimension perfectly. Now just take your two point line and make sure you're on node there and make sure it goes to node there. See, we've got edge. I don't know if you can see that, but then you got the node, and which is the end. And there's your node. And there is a equal trapezoid. So what we're going to do, and, and if you ever want to check to make sure that's equal, go, let's encompass it all. And control G for grouping it around. Now, this is a good way to make sure they're equal. So make another copy. So control D and then mirror that copy. Well, don't mirror that away. Mirror it this way. And then put it in the center of the page. Put this back in the center of the page. And there you can kind of see that both of them are, are equal. The, the diamond shapes or the arrow shapes are about the same. Anyway, so that's how you'd make a trapezoid. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.